Welcome folks, Flipknot here. We are hanging out at the Ride Factory. Uh, we're waiting to go on a charity ride for the Guardian Angels, I believe. There's a lot of people around. Today's gonna be fun. Everybody, it's my thunder buddy, Bob or Fed. <laughs> thunder buddies for life, right, Johnny? You're fucking right. Basically, this is the deal. We built a. Uh, well, I guess we're leaving. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, I was the last one. I was always the last no one. No freaking way, dude. Yeah. <laughs> we got lost and we were really scared about what's going on, but you know, we look, we made it. Okay, I knew where I was going. No, I didn't. <laughs> so we're out here at Forgotten Angels today. There's a lot of people riding motorcycles. That was a nice, beautiful ride. The, the weird thing is, is that like, you know, we, we all drink beers and ride motorcycles and are loud and brash what the hell ever since I am a poor piece of crap right now the least I can do right now is just say like you know just go like something go like these charities go help these people out uh, we motorcycles is raffling off that triumph that you'll see right now it's for a good cause hundred percent of the proceeds is gonna go to Forgotten Angels and help them out you can buy raffle tickets at we motorcycles co there's the rest of the information if you head over there that'll give you information on how to buy a raffle ticket all of us at Brap Star Garage are going home today and we are all buying raffle tickets because a it's for a good cause and that's all that matters but B there's a chance that we can win an amazing motorcycle one of my favorite things about the motorcycle community and culture is that everybody hangs out everybody takes care of each other where it's like you take I hate you hey. go on do your thing boy no 
but it's a weird bonding thing. It's something that you just do and you take care of each other. And so like, we're here to help out other people and let's help out other people. And it's the best that I can do right now with not having a job due to COVID. So, you know, you might win a motorcycle out of it. This is originally a 500cc. It's been uh, bored out 120 over, which if anybody knows, that's probably stupid, right? Um, but it's been bored 120 over. It's got BSA pistons in it, so I punched it up to about a 549cc. Weighs uh, 325 pounds. Pretty light. <laughs> Race of money, that's that's really what it's all about for me. Definitely. Yeah. You're, you're the man, man. Yeah. I'll questions tell you, dude. You're gonna you're gonna bring everybody to a tear to their freaking eye, dude. I already cried. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done a burnout. I wrote it. I wrote it. I wrote it, and, uh, I wrote it one time around the unit, uh, around the, the neighborhood. Um, I do have to index the transmission. It's like one tooth off. No big deal. I've built these motorcycles a million times. I'll get that fixed this week. Um, I can start it up. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Well, we all want to test ride. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Wait a second. By show of hands, how many people have vintage motorcycles? Nobody. All right. <laughs> it's gonna take a few kicks. I, I was just gonna say, I mean, how many times does it take to start your motorcycle? Yeah, let me tell you, however many kicks it takes, there's a mathematical equation to how many people are watching. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot right now. <laughs> Trust me, I've tried to start has my to bike edit in the front video, of so it's only one <laughs> kick, right? <laughs> point of this whole day and ride and fun that we had today is just go buy a raffle ticket it's down here don't think of it as you're buying a raffle ticket and you might lose and then you're just wasted $25 think of it as I donated $25 to an amazing charity and I have the opportunity to win a one-of-a-kind motorcycle which is a great thing. So, look at the positive. There's more positive on top of it because you're not losing. But at the same time, I want that motorcycle. So this bridge coming up is one of my absolute favorite views in all of Tampa Bay. And it is made dramatically better seen through a motorcycle. It's just, this is my home, people. This is Tampa, where I live. This is also where they shot the Punisher movie. Somewhere around here. This is where I'm gonna call it a day. As always, something I don't say as much as I should. Thank you so much to all my patrons. You're all amazing. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Folks, I'll catch you on the flip side.